it's my pleasure to um, give you an introduction uh, about InnoSilicon and uh, its high-speed, low-power IP and a customization service. Uh, our IP portfolio mainly covers MIC and TSMC process from 0.13 to 40 nanometer. So as a company, InnoSilicon is a, a China-based company. We founded uh, five, six years ago uh, by Silicon Valley um, veterans. And um, uh, our uh, past five, six years been keep working with MIC and um, from 0.18 to actually 40 nanometer. Right now, our 40 nanometer and the 55 nanometer is ahead of uh, other competitors for about uh, six months in SMIC. Uh, we are already at top vendors in SMIC covering uh, five, six different IPs, such, such as DDR, uh, Combo, HDMI, USB, SATA, and audio, plus the MIP. Uh, we also cover TSMC. Uh, 65, 55, 40, and then uh, in the future, next year, we're going to do 28 nanometer for TSMC. So for our IPs, uh, we've been taping out uh, over 30 times. We keep optimizing them. The quality, uh, not only reliable, we also have uh, some innovative uh, uh, innovation, such as the uh, DDR combo, where the industry only 5 to 1 combo covers uh, DDR1, 2, 3, LP, and LP2. That's in one IP in the uh, uh, 65 and 40 nanometer. We also have the latest HDMI solution, which is the uh, HDMI 1.4. Uh, that has the uh, uh, 3D function and 4K to times 2K support. For the uh, USB 2.0, uh, not only we have uh, the generic device host and OTG, we also have the uh, low latency hub. So it is a uh, four in one uh, USB. Currently we have uh, served many customers around the globe. Uh, those customers including Cypress, Paracom in US, and uh, uh, in China, High Silicon, ZTE, Hire, and uh, Rock Chips. Those are all our customers. Um, in Taiwan, and Korea, and Japan. So we served uh, many major customers. Uh, mostly in SMIC process. And uh, we offer full services, not only IPs. We offer drivers, we offer FPGA integration, we offer backend integration services for uh, any customers who desire um, some customization and some special services. We we'll try to give the local support, especially uh, domestically. We can you know, fly on site to uh, offer um, some hands on. Uh, integration and test. Uh, I think our um, uh, booth table is right here. Uh, if anyone wants to have more uh, understanding on our IP and services, can feel free to talk to us. So, as a company advantage, you know, uh, I think uh, some other IP vendors are also covering some of our portfolio. So, uh, from an advantage standpoint, uh, we stand on best price and performance ratio on the five IPs we offer. So not only we have um, the production proven IPs, um, we also have um, features that uh, many other vendors wouldn't provide, such as the uh, uh, compatibility, such as the uh, die size and power type, type of optimization on DDR, USB, and HDMI. And then we also um, pure play IP house, so from the uh, business standpoint, we're very flexible in terms of working with customers on how uh, it is done and how customization is done. From the support standpoint, we'll give you on-site support, especially in China. And uh, we'll offer um, test chips and FPJ integration services. And typically, when we port to a new process, it will take us two months. So we we'll have a very professional team to do that. So overall, uh, our uh, IP has good quality and then good services. And this uh, diagram shows our um, IPs, essentially in the yellow square. And that basically surrounding the whole SOC. 
uh, it is connectivity, multimedia, video, and audio. Uh, mainly covers uh, SMIC and TSMC. So that includes the uh, six IPs we introduced. Uh, it also has um, um, some future development roadmap. And all these IPs are coming with test chips. So if you license our IPs, we'll offer test chips and uh, uh, even the integration um, uh, FPJ uh, board for you to, you know, basically uh, do emulation in a system wise. And that's one example. We offer customers um, HDMI and audio IPs in one chip so that you can plug into a FPJ board and then do all the um, um, front end design risk free. This one is another list of uh, our IP recap, the diagram. Um, it has two major categories, as I said, uh, files, uh, six different files, and then it has video audio front end, covers the uh, high definition video audio requirements. And then uh, our USB 3.0 is actually coming next year. And then all the IPs, we offer uh, porting service, customization service, and uh, FPGA backend integration services. This diagram shows the um, DDR IPs, um, basically architecture diagram. The DDR coming with, on the file side, file and controller, two blocks. And file side has a complete solution. It has the uh, IO ESD, it has the DLL circuit, and it has the controller interface. And controller interface can directly talk to our uh, InnoSilicon memory controller or uh, third party one. And that is essentially um, a standard uh, DFI interface. And then um, our DDI, DDI controller and the file uh, jointly can support up to 1.6 gig DDR3. Uh, currently, we have uh, tapered our, our solution in the um, SMIC and TSMC from 65 to 40. That's all cover uh, up to 1.6 gig. And um, uh, it has a pretty good die size, which we'll show in the next slides. Uh, it also comes with the test board and uh, uh, FPJ uh, connector. So in the DDR5, unlike other IP vendors, we're not only provide IOs, we provide an integrated LAF, so that uh, if you need 16-bit, uh, 32-bit, or 64-bit type of DDR, you can just get a left from us and then drop it in instead of um, basically piece together all the component. And we have a test board that you can swap a different DIM to verify its uh, compatibility, uh, which we have test board right on the booth. And that's one example of our uh, SMIC 65 uh, layout diagram. Uh, in the 32-bit DDR, we can come up with a solution that's six, 96 paths and 2.5 millimeters square in area. So basically, um, compared to other solutions in the market, uh, we have fewer paths that require fewer paths and uh, die size is very competitive. So um, in terms of InnoSecon USB 2.0 solution, uh, again, we have um, uh, industry leading four in one mode support. We cover host, device, OTG, and hub in one file. And this one has pretty good low power consumption, and it supports the standard 8 bit to 16 bit UTMI interface. So, overall, um, if you're thinking about USB 2 solution, this one has uh, very good uh, uh, performance. And our USB 2.0 is uh, totally um, uh, standard compliant. Uh, it covers um, all the major standard compliance tests and has very good eye diagrams. So this one is actually coming from the uh, um, QFP packaging. One of the advantage of using our USB 5.0 is uh, it is not only um, 
logo compliant is also uh, very small die size. Die size uh, in the um, um, 65 nanometer is around uh, 0.45. That's including the ESD and pads. And then uh, in 40 nanometer, it's going to be another 10% uh, die shrink. So overall, this, this die size is actually 20% um, 20 20 smaller than some of our competitors. We also offer audio codec. That's a 24-bit uh, AD and DA plus the um, filter stages. So we have um, audio codec interface that uh, support I2C, SPDIF, uh, uh, I2S, SPDIF, and the PCM format. Uh, we also have test chip available. We also offer HDMI 1.4. Fire and controller solution. And this one um, actually um, is back, uh, back, uh, uh, backwards uh, compatible to 1.3, 1.2, and 1.1. So uh, actually, we have a demo right on this desk uh, playing a video. This is actually coming from our uh, latest 1.4 solution. It covers uh, all the th uh, 3D and um, uh, 2K by 4K. High, high definition. And then the uh, power consumption uh, in total is less than 60 milliwatts. And this is our uh, uh, service. This, this service actually covers the uh, multiple standard, like SATA, Zalvi, and PCIe. Our current service um, uh, actually running uh, in one core, it supports uh, um, up to five gig performance. And this is actually um, a test chip from SMIC 65 nanometer. Um, this is 5 gigahertz uh, eye diagram, uh, which is pretty good. We're also um, basically developing a MIPI DeFi in house. The MIPI DeFi uh, basically will connect you to the camera and then um, uh, support up to four name. So DeFi solution will be available in the SMIC and TSMC advanced process from 65, 55 to 40. Overall, our SOC has been uh, used by many customers, and this is one of the customers' uh, uh, board uh, that basically playing the HiD uh, and uh, uh, SD plus audio plus DDR in one chip. This is the layout diagram that will help them to integrate all the five together and the uh, uh, backend test chip, so in one. And this chip is actually um, uh, first pass successful. And we offer this service to uh, all the customers. If you uh, choose our IP, we'll give you an evaluation board, we'll give you the driver, we'll give you all the um, integration support so that uh, you will have an easy time, a risk-free uh, review from us to guarantee that uh, uh, when you're putting a high-end IP, it would not fail you. So in summary, there's some Chinese here. In summary, we're a fast-growing IP company that uh, uh, we have a pretty good coverage on the uh, uh, IP types and uh, processes. We have very, very flexible business model to work with different vendors. Uh, if you are uh, IP vendors or service vendor or SOC design house, or we have pretty good flexible flexibility work with you. Since we are a pure um, IP design company, we are mm, very weak in terms of uh, supplying you support, supplying you the uh, customized design. We're not afraid of uh, doing something innovative for you. And uh, uh, for this reason, many leading companies choose us for our flexibility and for our design capability. Uh, th those are including uh, many major companies uh, in China and outside China. So overall, we would like to um, uh, give you full support, full coverage of files, give you customization and integration services, FPGA services, so that your job of integrating um, highly complex IP become not so daunting. 